Lance. What was the guy? Who was the the the, the Ole Miss player we talked about this morning? Was seven five? Jameer and Sharp. And then somebody asked on C Spire text line, good morning to uh, Steve Azar. Is he hooked up and ready to go? He is ready to go, yes, sir. Morning, Steve. They were asking because the sign, the song Delta Flatland mentions a uh, uh, a Cadillac. Yeah. Somebody mentioned on um, C Spire text line, what car would this guy drive that was repossessed? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Being seven foot five, and I think (laughs) Most people said something like an 85 Cadillac yeah, or something. Definitely. I'm not sure that you could put the seat back that far. Well, but, the, yeah, uh, the Merlot Broham, uh, you know, or, in, or in Muscatel, either way, you know. But uh, yeah. the 70s era, that you could fit him in there. Yeah, That's all Steve has, though. Steve only has Cadillacs <laughs> in his repertoire. Good morning, Steve. How are you, sir? 75 Cadillac with a top roll back means he could have his head sticking out as tall as far out as you want it. Well, actually, he probably at seven foot five could take the front seat out and just drive in the back seat. <laughs> drive some in the back seat. That's pretty good. Heck, that's what he could do. Hey, Mom. That's it. How are you doing? Everything okay? I'm like, you know, you're like the what is that commercial? The best part of waking up. You're the fourth best part I've had. I've had. I've worked out. I've prayed. I have had a fine cup of coffee. I got a text message from my brother Joe. Saying, nah. get your voice ready. You got to be on Paul because you've been announcing it. And Thank I you, said, and then now I get to talk to you, which is the fourth best part of the. Listen, I, I appreciate that very, very kind. Even though you faked that, it's okay. I, that's, I'm, I'm glad <laughs> you rehearsed up, it. Yeah, I'll just I'll well, suck it up and I'll do it that way. <laughs> Listen, this, I, I'm mentioning this is like party time on steroids. It all's coming together here. But um, I, I didn't realize this was going to happen. But this is big. The uh, Songwriters uh, Music Festival, the Mockingbird Songwriters. Uh, tell me a little bit about this. Okay. Well, we've been doing it. This is our fourth or that's actually our fifth year. We started this thing out at the gin at Dunleaf in Leland. Mm-hmm. Our, our, the pony, the, our friends is the ponies, Tim and Angie. It's a great little venue there on their farm who's all been, always been so gracious. But as we did this thing, we felt like we could cap it at about 1,000 people and, you know, visit Mississippi and, uh, and, and all the powers that be, that you know, they've taught me over the years, especially Craig Ray, that, you know, how big can you get? Well, when the, we, we've had Frog Fest down here for a thousand years, and we've had, you know, obviously Kermit the Frog and Jim Henson and the Muppets yeah. and all that. And then we have Crawfish Festival. Everything's been about the same size. And now the Wildlife Heritage Festival came in, swooped in, and we be, all are living under their umbrella now to try to have a free festival, which my festivals are never free. Well, it is now except for a VIP experience. but And we really feel like with what's happened at Christmas on Deer Creek in year three, you know, there was uh, probably 12,000, 13,000 people there, maybe 15,000, maybe 20. Wow. I don't know. And Tamale Festival's reaching 30,000 now is what I'm told in Greenville. We feel like this is going to be the May event with all these festivals. And obviously, musically, a lot of my songwriter pals who have written so many incredibly hit songs for, for household names all over the world, will be here um, and they grew up hunting and loving that lifestyle so I think it's a good fit musically so we're the music umbrella underneath this new wildlife heritage festival and you know the whole goal is to fill up hotel rooms and and uh, you know folks stopping and getting gas and and our local gas stations and eating here and there at restaurants and you know that's the creative yeah. economy yeah. and that's what I've learned since I've been back that you know there's a lot of things that can happen when you put on these events celebrating who we are musically and artistically and then and food wise culinary wise any form of art form and then people hopefully they'll come rolling in and 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 it'll it'll leave a big impact and it's good for spirit and morale obviously down here friday friday and friday and saturday so i mean if you're going to do this you you need to be uh, proactive and get it done today or tomorrow Paul, that's a good point that's a great you know what folks out there why would you not get on a road trip, come to historic Leland, Mississippi, home of Jim Henson and the Muppets? Yep. we got crawfish everywhere. It's going to be everywhere. You know, I like the corn mostly. Um, there's stories of my brother getting the corn so orange that uh, that it would uh, – you had to be seriously ready to go in, and you had to have a, a cold can of something against your lips at all times. So, uh, it's, but, but, yeah, we're going to have great food, great music. And if you want a VIP ticket, you want to pay for something, it's going to be great because Chef David Cruz is going to be cooking both days. A uh, dear friend of ours and uh, actually one of my favorite chefs on planet Earth, I can tell you. And uh, we'll be big old VIP experience, and it'll be, I think it's VIP Mockingbird 
www.eventbrite.com. So just search it on Eventbrite or VIP Mockingbird, and you can get a VIP ticket and there. And uh, that's really the only thing you can pay for unless you're buying food out on the premises. What is the ticket going to get you into? Oh, the, the ticket gets you into the VIP tent, but but the fr- festival is free. I got you. The, 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 and how much is the ticket? Uh, it's a it's a lot, Paul. It's a million dollars, and uh, actually it's a hundred bucks for the whole weekend. So All it's three. a million bucks, but with a coupon, you get it for a hundred bucks. You get it for a coupon. That's right. I love it. So we get you get it, and it's a hundred bucks for the whole weekend. All the drinks, really all the beverages, all the food. Chef David Cruz. I mean, it's a steal, and you get prime time seating. We want people to bring their, you know, their their stadium chairs or their, you know, their their mm-hmm. chairs they put out and, and they come to concerts and, you know, bring bring that and just get ready, to just kind of hunker down and. Uh, it's going to be good, man. We're excited about it. You know, since I moved back here from the mighty Mississippi and and teaming up with my buddies here down here and just trying to figure out what yeah. works. We need to keep doing things, and we can't. We got to keep doing it until we get it right. So uh, we've been blessed to have Chris Stapleton on the Mississippi River and Revivalists, and I mean, so many great acts. Old Crow Medicine Show and Ryan yeah. Bingham. And the list goes on and on. But um, I, I really think this is going to have stay in power. And will make a lot of sense, and hopefully one day I can turn it over to somebody because I've been really busy. <laughs> Listen, the the the, the hundred dollar tickets on on the, that venue, man, that's worth it, especially with the food and everything else. You're talking about food yeah. and drinks, but just just to sit down, I was I I, I think I mentioned yesterday, I, I ran into this on one of the many things available on Smart TV today was uh, was uh, some documentaries and things such as that, and, and I'm I I watched the entire thing of Dean Dillon, the guy yeah. who wrote Tennessee Whiskey. It's, yeah. That's been uh, just a power hit, and his whole life, and and kind of that's what sh- that's what you're gonna have like the Bluebird Cafe. You sit there with the songwriters, and you yeah. listen to that, and it just it just when you hear the songs now, they they just mean something different. Listen, that's exactly what it is, and we're bringing in actually the guy that sang the demo for Five O'clock Somewhere was Chris Stapleton. Mm. And Moose Brown comes in. He's a co-writer of 5 O'Clock Somewhere. So we'll have a lot of those guys. You know, you're exactly right. But now we're still going to mix it this time with, you know, we're going to have great music. And we're closing with we're gonna, the party band of the South, Charlie Ross and the Cracker Jacks, tearing it up at the end. So my we're man. Inter- inter- weave. He's our man. We love him. Yeah. So we're, yeah. we're going to weave in and out some bands and some music. But, yeah, I've got a four incredible songwriter sessions set up. Uh, they they'll do about ninety minutes and maybe a little longer each, and they'll play so many of your right. hits that you've heard, and they'll tell you the story behind the inspiration, which is yep. a magical thing to partake in. Um, for the kids, uh, there is a fetch and fish, and uh, yeah. what is that about? Well, you're gonna you, that's you know, <laughs> so much going on. You've seen the schedule; it's wild. There's just yes, so it is. The, 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 Fishing, I, I wish I could rodeo, it better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's all this stuff going on wildlife wise. I mean, you don't. We've got the wildlife museum there now in Leland, that is is there as well. So you know, trying to fund different museums down here as well with this with the profits and there's just so much stuff to do down here to preserve our rich history. The folks are doing it all around the state. This is the biggest songwriter festival in Mississippi next to our friend down George Cumbus out on the coast doing Ocean Springs and the Mississippi Songwriters Festival there. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, we, we're on the other side of the state, but it's, uh, it's definitely worth celebrating, you know, birthplace of America's music coming to the, uh, well, well, the, well, the music city coming to the birthplace of America's music is pretty cool. And our Steve, friends love this place. They, yeah. they love, they get it. They get us. Will the GPS give us the location of this or, and not put us yeah, in a downtown, cotton field Leland. somewhere? You know where you've been to downtown Leland plenty of times back in your day. All of it, all of it's in downtown Leland. Yeah, we're gonna be on the streets of Leland, like the streets of Philadelphia. You gonna have enough room? I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people have shied away from crawdads this year because they've been so expensive. So uh, this is a perfect time to to get them before they're gone. You know, they're always making an excuse to raise prices on things, aren't they? Isn't it yep. funny? Yep. You know, like. We did have a drought last year, and I'm sure that affected where the crawfish hang out and, and breed. But, um, you know, I was I always, you know, my, I don't talk about conspiracy theories on my radio show. I want to do a whole show with you that discusses conspiracy theories. I think it's yeah. a hit on Super Talk. <laughs> uh, 
it's, it's, I've got a couple of good names, but I'm not going to tell you what they are right now. <laughs> All right, festival is free, and it happens this weekend downtown.